Hey everyone, it's me, Mrs. Stilianu. Um, Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make yourself as a snorkeler for your David Hoffney inspired um, snorkeling picture that we're making. Okay, so first things first, we want to use a pencil for this. We're going to be starting with a large oval shape. You guys can draw along with me. Okay, keep your eraser nearby. All right. So we started with this large oval shape. That is going to be your head, of course. You're gonna make your neck. Now your neck is not as skinny as you think it is. Uh, it would not be able to hold up your head if it were super skinny. And then you can make your shoulders. All right, so we started with our head, which is like a large kind of oval shape. And we have our neck and we have our shoulders. So working kind of swiftly with me. Okay, I'm gonna grab my eraser quick. I forgot it here it is because I'm gonna need it all right first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be drawing my snorkel okay so to draw my snorkel just watch me first because this is a little bit tricky all right it's gonna kind of start like a C and then I'm going to extend it over to the right side of my face C so I started with that C Extend it over. Yeah, there's a line there. Don't even worry about it. It's pretty thick. Okay. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to draw an ellipse. That's this shape at the top. Okay, so an ellipse is like a really, really stretched out oval. You see my ellipse? Awesome. I'm gonna quickly get rid of this line. I know you can still sort of see it. Don't worry about it. It's not going to affect our picture in one way or another, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is make my lips around that. So, cause I'm snorkeling. So those are my lips, okay? I'm going to make my nose. So if you want, you can make it like this or make it a simple shape. We're not going for realism today. I'm gonna make mine like this, okay? And you're going to make your eyes. Now, believe it or not, your eyes are actually in the center of your face. They're not all the way up at the top of your face, okay? They're at the center. So, But I'm going to make mine kind of large and silly. So this picture is not about realism. So again, what I like to do is kind of find the shape by making it a few times, okay? So I can go in there and erase. It's looking a little zombie-like at the moment. Don't worry about what it looks like at the moment. Check it out. I'm going to make my eyes. Now, you can make your eyes different than mine. Your eyes can be looking, they don't have to be looking up like this. We're not coloring anything in with the pencil. I'm drawing dark because I want to make sure that you can see what I'm doing, okay? You can also make my little eyebrows. You can just kind of keep them as a hollow shape. Please don't color it in, okay? So, I made my eyebrows. They're not perfect. Don't even worry about it, because we're actually going to be coloring over all of this. So you're not even going to really see all this. All right. I got the nose. I could put, like, a little something there. I also have this part. I can put, like, those little lines there. All right. So I got all that. Now, of course, I need my ears. So the ears are going to fall between the eyes and the nose, okay? You can make them kind of stick out if you want, or you can make them small. You get to decide on how you make your ears, okay? Trying to make them parallel to each other. Trying to make them the same as each other. Of course, as I say that, I realize that oh, mine are not the same, and that's okay. Okay. All right. So we got all that. Now, if you're a boy, you're going to think about what your hairstyle looks like. Um, I'm going to make a girl hairstyle since I am a girl, after all. Um, you are swimming in the water. So what would your hair look like swimming in the water? Well... You guys know I have long, 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 long curly hair. I'm gonna put, well, I really don't have long. I, I, it's kind of long, but it's not, not long, long, I guess. It's coming off the page. Yours can come off the page too, right? I have so much hair, it doesn't all make it in the page. Okay, and now I could fix my, also I could fix my hairline. So I don't have to keep this as my hairline. What I could do is do something like that and I can, give this an erasure so this might be a little bit of a tougher part for you thinking about how to draw your hair again we're not going for realism in this project 
okay? I'm just having fun with it. Um, you could fix the shape of your face. If you feel like your face came out a little rounder than you want it to, you can make little touch-ups. I'm gonna make touch-ups on mine. My face is a little more um, heart-shaped or triangular than how I made it, so. Again, we're not going for realism. Okay, fixing up these lines. All right, um, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. All right, so now at this point, um, I'm touching it up. You guys, it's okay if you're uh, a step or two behind me. You can take your time here. This might be a time that I pause the video and give you time, or maybe your class is keeping up amazingly and are ready for the next step. So either way, um, this is where we're at. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using my oil pastels, okay? Now, uh, your oil pastels, um, we use it in this way called thick, dark, and heavy. Okay, so don't go light with our oil pastels. They're really, to me, they're not meant to be used in a light way. What we want to do instead is go really dark. You want to use a lot of strength, lots of strength as you go and do this. So it's a real full co coverage type of movement. Okay. It's okay to go over your lines. You see, um, you could see the lines underneath, so I don't have to like avoid the lines or anything. All right, so you see my thick, dark, and heavy. So if it looks like this, if you're going like this, um, you're not really going thick, dark, and heavy. It should actually kind of be um, a little annoying for your hand if you're doing it the right way. You might be complaining that your hand hurts. I'm not trying to make your hand hurt. You can go slower if your hand's hurting you. That's cool. Oh, something I forgot. Uh, yeah, I am wearing a bathing suit. Oops. There we go. Okay. Now I'm working vertically, so some things are a little more challenging for me because of the angle that I'm going at. You guys have an advantage because you're working on the table, so it's a little easier for you. Keeping your conversations to a minimum, keeping them very hushed, because I say this all the time, um, so I'm gonna say it again as just a little reminder to you. Um, you might be someone who can work and talk at the same time, and maybe you're even more productive that way. Some people are, that's cool, that's cool if that's you. I actually, I'm one of those people. I can work and talk at the same time. I'm actually pretty good at it. Um, here's something you should know though. Some of your classmates, love to talk as well but they are not the best at working and talking at the same time um it's too much of a distraction for them okay which is why i ask you to keep your conversation at a minimum because you might be fine with it but others in your class may have a hard time working and talking or being part of a conversation at the same time all right so just be mindful of your friends all right um we are here to do a job we're not here to sit around and talk but i don't want you to feel like you have to be totally silent because that's also not the case so it's kind of like this in-between sweet spot that we're looking for all right keeping it at library volume like how would you speak in the library right so these are just little reminders uh, i'm here to remind you i myself need reminders from time to time it's okay right so the cool thing about oil pastels is you can blend with them. So I'm going to show you a little blending in a second. I know that my pencil's smearing a little bit. It's okay. Everything is okay. Everything is groovy and fine. Okay. I went outside my lines a little bit. That's fine too. All right. So I can blend in... Now, I'm not going to keep it like this. This is super scratchy, but what I could do is add that and check it out. I can go over it again with my same oil pastel and look what happens. I'm doing thick, dark, and heavy here. Kind of go over it a few times and I get a blend. I don't need to use my finger for the blend. Some people prefer to use a finger. I find it really messy. <laughs> um, 
So if you can blend by doing this, it's fine. If you feel like you're beating up your oil pastels, don't worry about it, okay? Um, they're gonna get beat this year. It's just the nature of the beast. Actually, I went and told you not to use your finger and I'm gonna actually use my finger slightly here. <laughs> so sometimes that happens. Okay, um, I'm going to make my hair. I don't really have red hair. Um, make yours how you think your hair looks though, because yours for now it will be really fun to look back at these and kind of remember how you felt like you looked. Um, if your mom's anything like my mom, um, when you move out one day, she might have a box of art that you made. So you might be, you know, 21, 22 years old, you finish college or trade school or whatever it is you're doing and uh, you're ready to move out into your own apartment and your parent gives you a box and this box is filled with art that you made in elementary school isn't that sweet right i still have mine all right so if not for you now do it for your future self that's gonna really be excited to see this believe me that future self is gonna be thrilled to have your old artwork Make your hair how you wish. You want to throw in a little fun thing, be my, be my guest. I know I told you not to, now I'm telling you it's okay. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I kind of change my mind as I go. It's all okay. Either way, however you decide, I know. Sometimes I can be confusing. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. I'm just going with these like kind of fun streaks in my hair or highlights, whatever you want to call them. I'm doing the blendy thing again, just kind of having fun with blending. I'm gonna give myself a bright blue scrunchie because that's fun. Maybe it has little polka dots on it. The cool thing about oil pastels is you can use light over dark like this. It's fun. Okay. All right. Um, for eyes, I have brown eyes. I'm gonna keep it like my own. I also have brown eyebrows. I'm not going to go and make the pupil black just yet. Uh, any white parts, you could just leave white. That's fine. Okay, here I am. I've done that so far. Just kind of working around, fixing up a couple things, okay? Uh, for my lips, I think I'll make them pink, right? So we're deep sea diving or deep pool diving. I like that better, actually. All right, I'm thinking about the color of my snorkel. You can make your snorkel however you wish. Um, use any color you like for your snorkel. I know I'm pretty quick with these oil pastels and you might feel like it's going slow. I went outside my line, that's okay. Because I want to tell you, we're going to be cutting these out. So the next thing we're going to do once we're done with this is we're going to cut it out and we're going to glue it into our picture. It's totally fine if you go outside your lines. So don't worry about it. This is not a test of, oh, how neat can you color? I'm not asking you to do that right now, all right? So you guys are in uh, fourth grade, somewhere around there. So by this point, I know you can work neat if you need to. I don't need you to work your neatest here. Okay, so I've got all that in. Uh, I want to go and put little stripes inside of here. This is going to be part of my design for my snorkel gear. I forgot about something. I'm going to show you what I forgot. I went outside my line again. It's okay. It's okay. So if you do it, it's okay too. Because I always say there's no mistakes in art, right? Only happy accidents. All right. So something I forgot that all snorkelers need to have is um, goggles, right? Or a mask. 
So actually, I'm gonna go back in with a pencil and do it. That's okay, all right. Um, hmm, just thinking about how I might do this. And I think I'm gonna make it tubular. That's this line here. It's kind of like a coloring book image because I'm gonna color it in. Yep, I'm gonna color it in. I'm gonna make it so that my mask has a red rim. All right, so there's really just one more step after this. Um, the next step's pretty easy, but you have to um, just watch me first and make sure you do it the way I'm showing you. So this step is, uh, it's pretty simple. You're gonna be going over all of your pencil lines, okay, with a black oil pastel. You're gonna press very, very deep and dark, okay? This is what is going to bring your picture to life. This is a part that you do want to go pretty exact and neat, okay? So we didn't have to be exact and neat with our coloring before, but this is an area that you definitely do want to, okay? And what you're doing, whoopsie, you and I have like little accidents. So if you dress it up, if you mess it up, dress it up. That's what I say. So I have little mess ups all the time. You don't have to tell anyone if you have a mess up. You don't have to tell me if you have a mess up. Uh, best case is if you figure out how to dress it up without even asking. But if you need help, of course you can ask me. That's what I'm here for. All right. But again, if you mess it up, dress it up. It's a silly expression, but it goes a long way when we're making our art. Okay, I'm going around this too. There we go. Okay, and I cracked my oil pastel. Actually, if that happens to you, no biggie. Just go with it. It's going to happen this year. Okay, remember I said don't bother coloring in your pupil before. That's because we're using the oil pastel to do it. It's redundant to do it twice. Redundant means like you already did it, so it's not a good use of your time to do it again. All right? Time's always of the essence in art class. I know you've heard me say that before. I say it a lot because it's important for you to realize. All right. I am just about done. Just kind of capturing the swirl of my hair. I'm not going to make a video of this. But my next step is that I'm going to cut myself out, all right? Actually, maybe I will, you know, I, I scratch that. I'm going to put it in the video just to show you. I'll be right back with my scissors. Yep, I am gonna go ahead and cut it out. I'm just gathering a few supplies. I'm always making little quick change ups. It's okay. Art's one of those places where we can do that. We have that freedom at times. So you might remember making this background with me last week. So we're gonna kind of circle back to that. I'll probably hand out your folders back to you. not to injure this paper too much. Ugh, look at that. Ugh, ugh, it happens. All right. I'm going to retape my old picture. This is the one from last week. You guys remember? Here we are. All right. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carefully cut this out. So I'm going to do that with you. So when I'm cutting, I like to cut off little parts as I go. It can become cumbersome if you don't because they kind of end up in the way. So let's give that a little snip. So it's all about working smarter not harder, right? That's what I say. Work smarter, not harder, right? 
it's like a little tool for life. So that not only in the art room, in all your classes, you can find ways to work smarter, not harder. Okay, I'm just gonna snip, just like I showed you before, just like a little quick little prep step to make it easier for you to cut things out so you're not stuck, right? It's okay if you let the scraps just land on your table. In art, we definitely get messy from time to time. This isn't even that bad of a mess. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm going to give that a snip just like I've been showing you. Just about done here. Working carefully with your paper so you don't rip it. Uh, although if you do get a tear, it's not the end of the world. All right, so check it out. With the gluing process, please, please, please do not put any bubble, any puddles of glue. You guys are old enough to know. I like this kind of swirl motion, but I'm not squeezing it crazy. I am squeezing it very, very, very gently as I do this part. So it's not a heavy squeeze, okay? It's a real gentle squeeze. And I'm actually gonna wait. I'm not even gonna put any on the snorkel yet. I'm gonna do that in a minute. This part is a little tricky, but what you wanna do is measure it and you wanna place it exactly at the bottom of your page, okay? And look at that, it lines up perfectly. So of course you can move it around. Now I'm gonna just put a simple line of glue, a line just like that on my snorkel. Okay, and what I like to do is, uh, I call this um, like the five second pat. So just kind of press my hand and then I'm gonna move it around. If glue is popping out your sides, you know you put too much, okay? All right, and we are all finished. We have made our snorkeler. She looks pretty good, doesn't she? I don't know if she really looks like me, but um, I do like how she came out. I hope you guys like how yours comes out. And I will see you for art class next week. Bye, friends.